All right, it'll tell me we are live. Here we are live. So we are going to um, just wait for people to come on and it'll dribble on. Here we go. Uh, this thing, I got it. Yeah, you guys, I got to turn that thing off. <laughs> I don't know. I turned the ringer down, so I don't know what's going on. So let's see. We'll have people hopping on, I'm sure. And I have the ringer all the way down. It's like the notification thing. Yep. Okay, here we go. Well, we're just going to wait a, a couple minutes for people yep. to, to pop on. And, um, and we'll start. Got peeps here. So as you join, my friends, um, can you please just say, put a quick hi in the, um, in the chat? That would be awesome. Uh, just so I can see who's here because the software that I'm using, I actually can't see the people who are attending. Okay, so if you can just put a little hey in there so I can see um, who you are. And if you can also put in there, hi, it is so-and-so. Because the, another limitation of this is that uh, I'm broadcasting to three different pages right now. And um, only one of the pages puts people's names on there. Hi, Julie Lund. Okay, great. Julie had your name on there. Um, good, 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 good. So just give me a quick hey. It is my name, your name. So, all right. I'm going to wait about another 20 seconds and then we will get going with our amazing sisters. <laughs> <laughs> the sisters. I have to tell you how this all came about. I have wanted to actually, I actually talked to Lynn earlier, a few months ago. Hey, Rob. Um, I had talked to Lynn a couple of months ago that I wanted to interview her. Um, and uh, the other day, when was it? Yesterday, right? I was teaching a class and I see Lynn there on the Zoom screen and I saw somebody behind her. And I'm like, is that Beth? Is that Beth? <laughs> and then she stepped a little closer when we were doing a different exercise. And I'm like, Beth, is that you? And she's like, no, <laughs> So after the class, I said, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Lynn's a, a pet, Beth is up visiting and will you guys do um, an interview uh, with me to inspire other women. And you guys will be so inspired by these two ladies. I see more people coming on. Can you please just put a shout? Hey, my name is so, so, and so, um, because I don't get to see everybody's name, but I would love to know who's here. Um, and that if you have questions or comments or, hey, love it while we're, uh, while we're broadcasting, please put those up for us, okay? And um, the, the ladies, the girls will be happy to answer questions, I'm sure. So we're going to start with a uh, show. Okay. Hi, Deb Wallen. Um, so we're going to start with um, just tell us a little bit about you each individually and your name and then kind of you together as sisters. I'm the oldest <laughs> of three girls, actually. Uh, we have a brother that's older than, than all of us, but I'm, I am the older sister. So if anybody's been an older sister, that's, that's who I am. And uh, <laughs> I am the most like my mother. They said, you're like mother. Um, so you're not the boss of me. Yeah, so <laughs> we really didn't get along that well when we were growing up. Um, but we have been brought together um, well, actually, we were brought together when I had children. Beth helped me a lot with my kids, um, which led her to have a little boy, which I was would great. I never had great. kids if it weren't for your kids. Yeah. And then, and then later on in life, um, Beth and I had to care for my uh, mother and my father. My father still lives with us. And we had to team up for that. Um, but other than that, I have two children, um, a, a girl and a boy. Uh, my daughter's married and lives in Georgia. My son still lives with me. Um, I am a nurse, but then I later in life went to seminary and I'm also a United Methodist minister right now. So um, that's me. And that's Lynn, by the way. Yes, Lynn. <laughs> okay, Beth. Uh, I'm Beth. I'm the middle sister for every, you, all of you that have that role. Um, I, I currently live in, um, uh, on, in Fort, like that. Fort Meade, Maryland. I live on base. My husband's in the military. Um, I, I think 
Jacqueline and I actually had more fun than you're admitting when we were <laughs> growing up, but there was a definite competition with yeah. us that we kind of like, yeah. kind of clashed in all a lot of ways. And um, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm an animal lover. Um, Lynn's like the go-getter and you'll see in our story, Lynn is like the, the light that I follow. I literally, I followed her to college, even though we didn't get along. I like yeah, followed along did. behind her. Um, and, you know, I've, I've, I've not really been like a career woman. I, I'm sort of more, um, I don't know. My husband says I sort of float like five feet off the ground. That's kind of where I live. And, uh, but I've, I've worked in the insurance industry. I've worked in teaching. I've, um, I have several degrees, but I've just never really applied them. And that's part of my story. No, that's okay. part of my story. Okay. 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 I love that you just said she was the light that I followed. What a positive thing to say and a beautiful thing to say to your sister. Mm -hmm. And not that I lived in her shadow because yeah. so many people would say that kind of thing. Oh, no. well, I, I, I really always, cool. even though we didn't, you know, you know, we had our sister issues, you know, and I think we both have learned in, mm -hmm. in these years that we've been together sort of you know, with our parents and we've opened up to each other. You know, I, I was always inspired by her. I never felt overshadowed or anything. But yeah, I would say that you're not, you're not, you're trying to be mother, you're not so awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So um, we're here to talk about your story and your wellness journey. Um, so I'd like to start off by asking you, what was the trigger in your life or the situation or the circumstance or a word that started you and said, I, I'm going to make a change for myself. I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to find something that works for me. What was that thing for both of so you? That was me. That was Lynn. And we had cared for my mom for two years at my house. Um, she had physical disabilities from aging. She has Alzheimer's. We finally got her into a nursing home and it, I was giving so much. I was completely, completely depleted. Um, I had gained 50 pounds. I had, uh, I could barely walk. I could barely walk. And I, I have been, I love to exercise. I've exercised throughout my life, but I had given everything up. I just was doing nothing. And, um, I had a friend who was coming to Sphere of Caldy and she said, you know, why don't you try this? See if it'll work for you. And I said, that's it. I've got to do it. And I went up and Dorian made contact and I just said, just sign me up. Just, I'm just, just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Yep. Um, so and my and knees did didn't work right. My <laughs> and this was how, this was how long? It, Cause this was a couple of years Almost ago. Almost three years ago. Yeah. Is when you started. Yeah, started almost three. Years ago. Oh, I would have said too. It's three years already. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Crazy. So, yeah. Yeah. So awesome. And just, just briefly, can you can you tell our audience um, what the physical kind of changes that you've made to your wellness, to your actual body? Well, I've lost almost forty pounds. I have. I now can walk. I have a German Shepherd. She needs a mile to a mile and a half walk every day. So I couldn't walk around. I couldn't walk down the block. You couldn't go up the stairs. I couldn't go up and down stairs. Now I'm up and down the stairs all the time. Um, I couldn't lift things. Um, now um, I, 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 I'm not, I mean, I had to for my mom, but then I was completely depleted. Now I can lift things. I can, my thought processes are better. Um, my, um, I'm enjoying life. I'm enjoying life. Um, and it shows in um, everything I do. My work, I, I think I'm a better pastor. I'm a minister. I'm a better pastor. I can um, do that work better. And I'm a better wife um, and a better mom. That's great. I, I can, uh, I'm going to say, I, yeah. I saw when in your preaching, she, she went from preaching from up here. <laughs> To oh. reaching down here and um and our relationship mm -hmm. has just evolved you know it, it's just it's so oh it's much deeper it's so deep it's yeah. like we had no idea how yeah. similar we actually yeah. were mm -hmm. and our, our relation our bond is mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. and it's it, it wasn't from the time we spent caring for my mom because mm -hmm. that was very traumatic mm -hmm. it, it's mm -hmm. it was from this this yeah awesome 
So, um, Lynn, your metabolic age went from what to what? Do you know? Um, I think I started around 74, 75. Yeah. And I've made it to my age, 61. And yeah. I still yeah. think that I'll get below that. I so, will. <laughs> you will. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, that's like 15 years or so. So uh, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And, and my muscle, um, I mean, I went back to the hospital where I used to work and just visited and, and they, they, I mean, I, I had a coat on or something. They're like, oh my gosh, what did you do? <laughs> you look terrific. <laughs> yeah. And I used to wear scrubs there and stuff. So, you know, they, they never, I never thought they looked at your body or anything, but they were like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I think it's more than your body, though. I think it's, it's like everything. This, this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just the whole like glowing picture. So glowing, so glowing. So, <laughs> so Beth, how about you? What was the trigger or the circumstance, the the thing that made you go all in? I watched Lynn. I mean, I watched her for several years. She encouraged me. She didn't push me. She encouraged me. I watched her transformation. Um, <clears throat> But something inside of me was just like, oh, you know, Lynn, Lynn can do it all. Bethy can't do that kind of stuff. I really, I really believed it. Um, and uh, then the the real the real trigger was, um, I was diagnosed in April of 2019 with metastatic breast cancer. And um, I so when. I had my aha moment. I had spent about a year wallowing in, not wallowing, but lost, confused, not knowing what my next step should be because you're just kind of told, you know, there's nothing you can do. And so when I, when I came, um, well, what my aha moment was, um, Lynn, <laughs> Lynn <laughs> calls me up. Well, I'm going to say really quickly. I felt so bad. I, during this period, I gained 25 pounds. All the pain in my body was just, it was, I was worse. And I was preparing, I was living my diagnosis. I was living it. And, um, but yeah, I went to the doctor and, um, when you have your scans and stuff, they're like, Oh, you're, you're, you look good. Like everything's getting smaller. It's shrinking. And I'd be like, I'm in so much pain. I have no energy. I can't breathe. And, they were getting ready. They were preparing to like up my pain management program, uh, even though they were like, it doesn't make sense. You know, your, your chance are shrinking, but I, I had just completely surrendered to it. And, um, but in my mind, I'm like, okay, your cancer's shrinking and you're feeling terrible. There was a disconnect there that I just was like, this doesn't make sense, Beth. And then Lynn called me one day and it's like, she kind of said it like, oh, you know, Beth, she's always suggesting to us. Do you want to maybe, uh, you know, like Dory? Like I had met Dory, and I had, you know, I had seen everything. She's like, she's doing a six-week challenge, and the program's virtual. I was in North Carolina at the time, and I've told Lynn and Dory and both this. I don't remember the conversation. It was just like something deep inside of me was like, yes. And Lynn was like, what? <laughs> like she didn't expect me to do it. She didn't expect me to do it. That's great. So that's, I came to you depleted. I had given in to a diagnosis, the words I had given into the words. And I think we all have experienced that before, no matter what your, you know, what your health issues are, you, you give in to the diagnosis. And I was sort of like, I've got to try it. Something's not right. I'm doing, you know, I'm, it's not, it's not right. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, I was going to ask you kind of like, what were some of your disruptors, but you kind of you answered that um already um so you what was your what was your both of you your biggest um apprehension or fear about putting yourself out there hmm. my biggest fear was I, you know, there, it wasn't a big fear. It, you, you put up a lot, I put up a lot of little fears. There's a lot of little things that say, um, I can't do it. You know, oh, your knees don't work right. You know, um, and I'm, I'm going to say that purposely, your knees don't work right. But uh, one of the things I'm, I'm trying to get rid of is you have bad knees. I don't have bad knees. My, my knees were not supporting me. They were not supportive. Yes. And so I, I can't, I can't do it. 
I can't do it. There was too many of those. I can't do it. So, or, you know, um, there's a lot of pressure. I give a lot and, um, um, well, I won't be able to do that for that person if I do it for me. And so for me, I had to get over, I think maybe this is the answer that I had to get over myself and giving to myself and loving myself was the thing that I needed to do in order to start moving forward. Perfect. Love it. How about you, Beth? What were you afraid of? I was afraid I'd be asked to leave. <gasps> I was afraid if, if I emphasized too much about my condition and um, maybe you guys would, honestly, I felt like, okay, she's not going to your patient. No, I was living the, the yes. stereotype. Yeah, and I was I was really concerned that if I um, didn't couldn't do it right, you guys were going to say, "Well, we we can't we can't we can't take take you on." Oh, and you were loved on so much, right? Oh, oh, those those fears. I mean, those fears ended day one. I mean, I was I was self conscious about the exercise. You you all know that. But we're gonna, once we're gonna I stepped in, that. once I stepped in, it was like, you know, I was like, I can't I can't mm -hmm. go back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah, you're so embraced with, I'm going to say it, love. Mm -hmm. Genuine, uh, you know, anyone who speaks, uh, anyone on her team, but like yeah. when you speak to Dory and it's, it's so immediately you are the center, you feel like you are mm -hmm. the center of her existence and she has so many women, mm -hmm. but you feel it. And she believed in me and all yeah. I wanted to do when I started, all I wanted to do was to feel a little bit better. I just, mm -hmm. I just wanted to feel a little bit better, Dorian. Yeah. And look at you now. <laughs> yep. Girl, yes, yes. Yeah. So, you know, I, I had a question. You guys are like answering my questions before I ask them. So <laughs> you know, like you've been working the program, like, like you're not done. And I know for you, Lynn, it's never done. It's right? never done. No. You have totally transformed because transformation to me, when you become another person, you become a different person, a different identity, and th there's no going back. That's when transformation had, takes place. And Lynn, you have totally transformed, not only your body, but your entire life, your entire who you are mm -hmm. through your wellness, mm -hmm. which is magical, right? And Beth, I believe that you are in it forever. I'm, I'm in it forever, Dorian. Yeah. I know. I, have, I am off of all pain medication. I have no pain in my body. Um, I my my except after that workout. Oh, yes, yeah, and that's a good point. <laughs> except after the workout, and I have to tell you, I, I that was a that again was a fear of mine after I worked out because I, I was afraid of pain, and I was like, oh, and then I was like, wait a minute, oh yeah, this is just my muscle talking and stuff. Yeah, um, but I my. Um, Going through the um, going through the nutrition, learning about nutrition, learning that I was actually emotionally and nutritionally supporting my illnesses, I learned so much about that, and I was just like, I am not going to support my illness anymore. And you talked about transformation. I think when you truly transform, it's when you find your true self. That's it. And that there's, is no, the key. there's no going back when you find yeah. your true mm -hmm. self. Mm -hmm. I am not a cancer patient. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm bad. Right. Yeah. And um, so there's so much healing in this program that's done. It, it, you go in as deep as you want. You know, mm -hmm. if, you, if, you're not in, if you're not into that, you, you will heal in other ways. But mm -hmm. it has, you know, my pain, my depression that I've had all my life is gone from things I was eating. I have learned that they were also i was participating in my depression um with food i didn't know how healing food could be and how detrimental the wrong food could be yeah and so yeah there's no going back but it's not just food and exercise and mm -hmm. um that's the other thing we meditate it's, through the program yes we have a, oh awesome we're part of meditation. meditation sisters hello you know monday mornings um we meditate it's mind, body, and spirit. I mean, the whole spirituality, it's all of it together. Um, and I just can't emphasize that enough. It's not just diet. It's not just exercise. It, it's spirituality. And, and I want to say community because um, this is a place where people support each other. 
Yes. And when you're making those, even those little steps that you're afraid of, you need people to say, gee, that was good. Keep going. Yeah. And we do a lot of that, right? Yeah, we do. We do. <laughs> and one other thing, you know, we're sisters, but Lynn and I are polar opposites. Yes. We are two different women mm -hmm. with, with many, many different issues. Mm -hmm. And when you step into this program, it's like Dorian dials this dial and she plugs into what you need. Mm -hmm. And Lynn and I need completely different things. Yeah. Um, and and it's just amazing how the program is. It's not a cookie cutter type thing. It is like it. She, Dorian can just dial right into what's going on with you. It's it's her superpower. And yeah, so, I think it is. <laughs> so um, that's that's another amazing thing about it. We are sisters. We have mm -hmm. so much shared experience, but we are two different women. Mm -hmm. And Excellent. we need different things. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Oh, look at Robin, you will. Yes. Um, so my other question is, um, what in, in the program for you so far or your experience so far, um, what was like a game changer for you? Was there any game changer for you? Like one specific thing or was it, you know, can be like, you know, it was the whole program, but was there like a specific thing that really um stood out or stands out to you that made a big difference for you well i i would have to say again the community and the support because mm -hmm. immediately when i came in you paired me up with somebody i could talk to even though i knew somebody in the program you're not always taking classes together you're not always in the same groups so you yeah. paired paired me up um, and then the teachers were so supportive also um and um helping you when you didn't think you did well you were given encouragement and um so the community and fellowship is a big part of that a big part of that great um and then when we got i love when we got together whether it was it's virtually uh, or when we got together up in the little room up there and just talked about again it's community talked about our issues and you found out that you're not so different from other people even though we each need different things, yep. you know, we, we, we're women, we're doing similar things and um, we can support each other. So that, that was the game changer for me was I'm not in this by myself. Great. It's a beautiful thing. I agree with everything she says, but I'm going to add number one, the toys. <laughs> all the tell toys. me, tell me the toys. Well, number one, like the belt. <laughs> the belt, right? <laughs> I mean, yes. you do not have to use these things, but Dorian has an amazing uh, repertoire of technology yes. and 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 tools Absolutely. to help you monitor like your progress and to feel like I told her before, legit when I'm doing the exercises. <laughs> I have the little uh, the, the that. Um, just the, the technology that you bring to us, Dorian, about, you know, just analyzing and, and mm -hmm. just everything that we do, the, the, the food tracking. But the, the big thing for me, and I've always meant, I've already mentioned it, and it's for my journey was the nutritional information. I mean, you can find all this stuff out on the internet, but it's just, it's so conflicting and stuff. And mm -hmm. the program just gives you such comprehensive information on what you are actually putting in your mouth. And it blew me away just from the beginning. And that journey has continued. I mean, I've, I've been doing this since, um, since May and I'm continuing on now past the challenge into my own program that works for me. And just that information, I, I, you know, I, 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 I love that. And it gives me, um, can, it gives me, it takes other people. It, it gives me the, I feel like I'm now in, in, in charge of my wellness. Yes. It's not in other people's yes. hands anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm the yes. driving force in this. Yes, I need my doctors. I'm not ignoring any treatment. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I get all my treatment, but this supplemental stuff, I'm, I'm driving the ship now. That's so great. And, and you know I what? Like, so I glad like what I you. see. It's so so I'm so glad because the educational component is massive and if you, you know, you guys know me, I am a massive researcher, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and so is Robin. Robin's got a master's in library science, you know? And um, so, yeah, and it's really fun to bring those things to the table. And, you know, knowledge is power. It's cliche, but it truly is. When you understand something, um, you can make the right 
choices, right? When you understand what's happening to your body as a 40 or 50 something year old woman, it's easy to do the right things. But when you don't know, and a lot of us don't know because everybody's silent about menopause and being 50, right? We need to make noise here, right? So I or thank 60 you and fabulous. And 60, that's right, Lynn. Yes. <laughs> 40s, 50, really 50s and 60s. This, this is where we, we're invisible no more, right? We are going to come together. We're going to keep doing what we're doing to get together in wellness and change the world for generations. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. So we live um, in those old stereotypes because, because we're being told by society, yeah. this is what's going to happen to you. And so we, I, 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 you live it. Right. You're 60. You're not going to get rid of that. You're going to have, you it's know, all that's downhill from here. And Dor look at Dor Dorian. Just, nope. nope. That's not the truth. Okay, on November, on election day, I'll be 58. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm going to talk about mission for a second. So um, I would like in our Four Seasons program, which is our 12 month program, um, which is pretty awesome if I do say so myself. The, yes. One of the very first things that the women do is come up with a personal wellness mission statement. OK, and that is the driver, because we need to get out of thinking about weight loss and everything that society puts on us and start focusing on us inwardly. Who do we want to become? Who is that person? Being 50 or 60 is the greatest opportunity of our lives to be who we want to be. Our kids are grown. We've done all of that. We're so wise. We've been through, had so many experiences. Start a business, you know, change the world, um, travel, um, you know, you know, make cookies, whatever it is that you Quilt. want to do. Quilt, that's right. I know that's so beautiful. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, right? And think big, right? We And we have the power to do that as women. And we need to make a stand for that. And that's one of the things that our programs do as well. And I'm so grateful for you guys. I'm not done yet. I still have a couple questions, but I'm so grateful for you, you two beautiful women for coming on here today, being vulnerable and and living into this legacy. OK, living into your legacy and and changing your world or and the world. So I would ask Beth, I asked you if you would bring your mission statement um, and she's so Beth would like to read to you and share with you what she's worked on. And the girls, the women worked on this for about two weeks coming up with these. OK, so Beth, go ahead. OK, I guess I first want to say that I. I really believe that we all have such gifts to give and they're not like how many soccer games we get our kids to and you know how many it, it's so it's so much more deep and they're hidden those gifts are hidden so I'm going to read mine because I'm still working on it I'm still working on my mission statement but my mission statement is to live every day with gratitude mm -hmm. compassion and joy and I was not feeling that way before I met, before I started this program. And I want to inspire others to truly love themselves. You can't heal until you love yourself. And so that, that those people can then share their gifts and talents with the world. I want to help just help other women to un unleash that. And by me, I have to do this by making my wellness the foundation of my day. It has to come first. And I, I see the divine in everyone and everything, and I want to abide in love. It's beautiful. So beautiful. I love it. And it has nothing to do with weight loss, right? It has nothing to look anything. It's about you in here, right? And what you're going to do in the world from here, right? Because I feel alive again. So great, I love it, and you look gorgeous. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So, um, <laughs> so, my mission statement is to create a legacy of wellness in the world, one woman at a time, and for women to be empowered to transform their lives through their wellness. Mm -hmm. Transform your life through your wellness. And that's m m wellness of your physical body, of the soul that lives in your body and your brain, right? All of those things. And 
Um, but you, you guys talked about this a, a little bit before, but um, how, would, how has your life changed? Like in, in a um, kind of in an ethereal kind of a sense, how has your life changed from this wellness journey? What impact has it had on you as a woman? I'm happy. Oh. I'm happy. Uh, I enjoy, I can enjoy every single day. You know, um, I don't have to follow um, somebody else's um, goals. I have my own goals and that's okay. And um, I, uh, uh, my creativity has been allowed to come forth. I was always creative, but it, it, it's just, it's just abundant right now. It's abundant. Nice. Love it. I like that word. Yeah. How about you, Beth? Um, <clears throat> what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> I was how so excited about what she was saying. <laughs> so how has your life, so how has your life changed um, in, in a big sense, right? Or what impact has it had on your life that is going to influence other people, right? Yourself as living into your legacy through your wellness. So when I came, when I came to the program, <clears throat> I was, I, I was preparing to die. Mm -hmm. And through this transformation, I have learned to live. I live each day with joy and gratitude, pain-free. I have discovered, and this is a part of my story, and I'm proud to share it, through Dorian sharing other um, in, amazing women, um, inspiring, healing women in her program, I have discovered that I have a gift of connecting with spirit and healing and oh she does too like this is another thing and he and healing and feeling energy and all of that and i've delved into exploring that deeply along with my continued fitness program and yeah. i just i i i was not i was a you know i was a silly tried to be a happy person before but i was just so dragged down with depression and health issues and I just feel, like Lynn said, abundant with creativity. I don't know where this is going to take me yet, Dorian. I just know that I'm, I'm, I'm there, and I'm, I'm in the driver's seat. You are, and um, I think Beth, you're referring to our wonderful friend Jeannie Street, right? Jeannie, Jeannie Street. Yeah. So we Jeannie actually Street. Jeannie is going to do a master class in our challenge. Um, which is really, really exciting. But Jeannie is a colleague, an amazing coach, um, author of two books. Uh, she's an amazing person. And um, she did a, a talk for us and Beth was present. The first, the first week I was there and I felt Dorian like you had scheduled that just for me. Like Dorian yeah. doesn't know me, but oh my gosh, she did this for me. <laughs> you know? yeah. and it was that's how the universe works, my friend. Right? And that's another thing you you bring in so, so many, many interesting people that other that you allow us to go explore the world through, and yeah. you feel safe going to these people yeah. if yes. you enjoy yes. if you enjoy the topics that they're bringing to you. So you're you're like the core, and you just send all your little <laughs> all your little ladies out in the world to shine their lights. That's my job. That's my purpose. My big purpose. Yeah, um, you're doing it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You know, it's funny, but COVID has, uh, I know it's like, COVID has, um, it, it's, it's, it's been an interesting thing um, how it's affected um, my physical brick and mortar business, but it's also opened a door and allowed me the opportunity to reach the world because that's really my dream. And I believe that God has sent me here to do that. Mm -hmm. to really make a change by bringing women together in wellness to reverse the ill health, to reverse the poor role modeling. Women are it, guys. You know in the family, the woman is the rock of the family. The woman sets the tone. The woman is the example. 
right? And I feel it's my responsibility and our, our responsibility to, to pass that down, to pass this wellness. Um, um, the internet. Yeah. Uh oh. Lost you for um, a minute, but to are you here? Yeah, 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 yeah. we lost you for a minute, but, yeah. but we, we we were feeling it. I could feel yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of frozen here on my end, but that's okay as long as I can hear you. Can you guys hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah, you're, 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 video, but yeah. So um, so great. Um, so one last question for you guys: What would you tell women? We have a, a challenge upcoming, right? It's a six week challenge experience. And um, it is, we have, we have two start dates, October 19th and uh, November 9th. And we're opening up registration. It's um, a really cool, um, cool experience as I know both Beth and Lynn can attest to. And one of the things we're doing this time, they were talking before about the belt, right? The belt is a heart rate monitor technology that we use to coach our women to optimal and safe levels of exercise so that they get the absolute most optimal out of our exercise effort. And then it supports what they're doing nutritionally, right? So um, we're actually including that in this next challenge. Um, so people who are maybe considering doing the challenge, don't worry about it being the holidays. We have some of the best results um, through our holiday challenges. You guys still with me? Yes, we're yes, there. We're here. We're here. Um, so my question is, what would you tell women that may be listening or listening to this recorded? What advice would you give them or encouragement would you give them to step out of their box? to face the fear or the um, trepidation about starting their own wellness journey? What would you, be their, your advice? Don't wait. <laughs> don't wait till you're so depleted that there's no other choice. Mm -hmm. um, and don't, don't worry. Um, just say yes. Don't, you yeah. know, the more excuses you make about the best time or when all, all of these things, they're just excuses. Just say yes. And when you say yes, wait and see what happens. Just say, I'm going to do this for me. I'm going to do this for me. Because when you do it for you, you're not just doing it for you. Your family, your friends, your life is going to benefit from it. Um, and so if you're waiting for the best time, the best time is now. Thank you, Lynn. That's beautiful. It is beautiful. And Beth, what would you say? What would your advice be? Um, my little thing and I'm, I'm gonna read it stop believing the stories that society tells you about aging and illness mm -hmm. believe women who've gone through this experience and have come out the other end shining bright and you won't wait six weeks to feel like was this mm -hmm. the right thing you will start feeling in the first few days in the first you know you you will you will in if the minute you start mm -hmm. The minute you start, you will be like, wow, you know, you, you, so sit just like Lynn said, say yes and welcome, welcome to loving yourself and finding your true self. And you've been looking for that person your whole life. Absolutely. And Dorian will help you find that person. And everybody. Dorian, every, I mean, Robin, all of everybody. I mean, I mean, yeah. the whole, yep. the whole oh, community. Our right. Robin, so amazing. And we're here for you, too. That's right. That's right. Lynn's ama amazing. When if, if I have somebody who's like a little, you know, shy or, you know, not sure, I get Lynn right on her, right? <laughs> Lynn, will you buddy up with this gal for a couple of weeks? She's so good. She just, she does it because she's I'll, really. I'll say real quick while I'm, vis while I'm visiting Lynn during the week, she's the go-getter. Okay. And I don't usually exercise like super early in the morning. I'm more like mid morning and stuff. <laughs> she's like, Bump, 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 bump on the door, like seven o'clock, Beth, I'm going down to set up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a great, I mean, she's just, she's just, come on. Let's go. I'm not coming to your house though and knocking on your door. <laughs> so, Are you up? Come on. You. No, I'm setting up. You can have the foodie, you can have the booty, uh, the booty kicker. kicker this time. I'll have it next time. <laughs> so what I want to say is that Beth lives, at, Beth is, Lit, lived in North Carolina and now she's in Maryland. She's a completely remote 
member of our community completely. And um, Lynn, I don't know if she's off or we're off, but we're yeah, still we, here, guys. We're, we're here, here, but you're frozen. Okay, there you are. There we, we see okay. you now. Okay, so what I was saying is that Beth lives, uh, was living in North Carolina when she first started with us, and she's in Maryland. So she's been a completely virtual um, member of our community. And Lynn is also completely virtual right now because of right. COVID. However, Lynn was a member or is a member of our brick and mortar. Mm -hmm. So I want everybody out there to know that you don't need to be local to this brick and mortar. This is for anybody in the world, any woman over 40 in the world and really any woman but we our wheelhouse is really um you know uh educating and balancing understanding what's going on hormonally with your body but also understanding what's going on in your life women in their 50 late 40s 50s 60s are going through incredible life changes as well as changes to their bodies so we address both of those things. And um, uh, so you can, we are planning on opening uh, next week. We have the air purifiers to install. We're going to partially reopen um, for some of our local clients. So if you are a local person and you do want to do the six week experience, um, you will have ability to come into physical classes if you would like to. Otherwise, I'm, I think our team has done a kick ass job Absolutely, in yes. terms of going from coaching live to coaching virtually, right? I couldn't have done this if you hadn't have done it. I couldn't have gone through this transformation if you hadn't done it virtually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So kudos to my staff and my team. They're amazing coaches, amazing women, full of love and support, right? Every single one of them. Everyone. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and they get such a joy from help helping you on your journeys mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. kudos to all of my all of my staff and and coaches all right so um thank you guys so 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 very much for sharing your stories with us and your being vulnerable and encouraging other women to do what you are doing and um not just for yourself but for your family yes. um, and for generations of women that we'll never meet, right? For our granddaughters and our great granddaughters, yes. Yes, be that example, right? Let's change the, the, the face of wellness for our girls through our own journeys, right? Good, well, I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, Julie Lund says, Lynn, you've always given me such positive feedback, thank you. Um, uh, Julie Lund also said, virtual is excellent, excellent, thank you. Yes. Great, thank you. For anybody ha else have any comments or questions you'd like to ask the dynamic duo here? <laughs> uh, let's see, good. Thank you, Dorian, for giving us an opportunity to. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so great. It was so impromptu. I'm like, oh, it was. tomorrow. So it literally was like, uh, uh, I if you had given me too much time, I wouldn't have been able to do it. But it was like, oh. so it's perfect. But I well, believed. I, yeah. I I believe you 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 exude this confidence. Like I believe we would be okay. Yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, and you just speak your your experience and your own truth, mm -hmm. right? And um, yes. the authenticity of your your stories was really beautiful and um i am so like i'm really honored and humbled and these these are two women these are two of hundreds of women just yes. like them mm -hmm. so come come you you women we need to hear all your stories <laughs> yeah. we need we We're need to learn back from it. yes we want to hear we want to make new stories to tell mm -hmm. and inspire other women right What's more inspiring than hearing this, your guys' stories? Mm -hmm. Amazing, incredible. And I'm so honored to be able to have been and continue on this journey with you. And you have no idea how much joy you give me. And particularly today, how much joy you've given me on this day. I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, All right. I love my Dorian and my Robin and all the ladies. All of you guys. <laughs>
<laughs> so great. Say so yes. Yeah. <laughs> just say yes. You know what? We're going to get shirts, I think. Say yeah. yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. Fly you around in here. So um, totally fantastic. And um, We've had a lot of people on, people coming, going, we've had up to 17 at one point, and that's pretty good for putting this together last, yeah. very last minute. But I know that we're going to get a lot of views after this. Uh, the, the videos that I did yesterday and day before, we're getting a lot of um, views afterwards. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And I'm gonna be you know, encouraging people really to sit down and take a half an hour, 45 minutes and listen to this. Good. All right. it needs to be on Netflix, I think. Yeah, there you go. I need the glam squad for that, Dory. <laughs> I want to look like Robin did when I saw her after she was dolled up. I want that look. That's right. Did you get your shirt yesterday? She did. Good. I feel legit. <laughs> you feel it. Legit. Oh, legit now. I, I'm going to be rocking that shirt. <laughs> And I, I hate myself in tank tops, but I'm so upset. It. I don't hate myself in anything now. Oh, she's got, I love myself. Show, she's got to show her shoulders again. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. You got, little, you got those little uh, cuts going on in your. Yes, yes. I see a little yeah. shadow going there. <laughs> but I got my shirt. I love yeah. it. It, me, it means it's it means so much to me. It's, it's our Dare to be Limitless shirt. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Beth has it. And you'll wear it to work out. And I want, because I want to see those, I want to see those guns again. Yeah. Oh, and I have to tell you, I have to say this. I, because I ordered it a while ago and I ordered it in one size. And then when you guys like were like, oh, your shirt's here. And I forgot about it. And I was like, I wrote to Rob. I'm like, Robin, I think I'm a smaller size now. <laughs> and, and she was great. And she was able to find me the next size down. Like, I didn't, it, it would have not fit me. Yeah, we did. Well, Beth, I did forget to ask you how, how, how is your body, physical body transformed? With that? How, how is your physical body transformed? What have the changes been? What do you mean? How has your body changed? How has like my body changed? Yes. Um, we're not, are we still on? Yeah, we're still on. Okay. Um, how has my body changed? Um, are you talking like health wise? No, your shape. Because um, of like oh. your stats. Oh, well, I've lost, oh, I've lost 24 pounds. Right. Yeah. I've lost 24 pounds. Um, she used to have quite a tummy. And she used to thought, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, I, And there's not there. I, um, I don't, I, sorry, I don't really See, know She doesn't like to question. talk about that. Um, um, Again, I was. This was all about feeling better, which I started instantly. But then, as like the pounds, um, again, I will talk about the tummy. You, as you you taught me, all of that fat that we store there was supporting my illnesses, and that that tummy is dis disappearing. And yeah. I, I feel, right. you know, I this for me was never about losing weight. There was always that that, that was going to be a positive. Um, a positive thing on the side um, because it's how I feel that's really to me the most important thing. But um, I, it, it, it looks okay, doesn't it, Lynn? It looks great. <laughs> <laughs> she great. looks wonderful. We can share clothes again. Yes. <laughs> and I think Beth, since you you, you lost, um, it was it the just the last month or so? You have when did you lose that ten pounds that you recorded? That was from since that was since that was you know how how I, I've transitioned through into a, a different program. That was since I had access to, um, I think it's Precision Nutrition. Yeah, the Four Seasons program. The yeah, Four Seasons program. So so I lost like about ten or eleven pounds during the challenge. Right. And then I've just steadily lost. Yeah. You know, I've steadily lost since then. I'm just continuing. Right. Um, to go. So that 10 pounds that it recorded, I think it was from when I first put my stats into that new program yeah, to, so you know. So it's been about 14 weeks that we're into the 12 month program for you. So you've lost about another 14 pounds since you started the four, yeah. four yeah. 12 month program. Yeah. Which is, yeah. yeah. Which I feel is, and I, 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 I'm no expert, you're the expert, Dorian, but it, it just feels very safe. It feels slow and steady. Yeah. And, um, 
you know, it's, so I've now lost the weight that I gained when I had my diagnosis and just started to, you know, you know, deal with the grief and the, all that stuff. I just gained weight and my arthritis went crazy from inflammation and da, 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 So now I'm, I'm back and I still have more to go, but um, yeah. Yeah. You just focus on what you're, what you're doing and all of the, and your body will transform, right? Just oh, do the, it is. And your it is. It, it continues. It's a continuing process. I keep thinking like, well, I'm not going to feel anything. You know, this is good as it's going to get and I'm fantastic. Yeah. And then, you know, it's going. and then it just keeps going. So, good. Good. well, thank you guys so much. Um, have a wonderful weekend, Beth. Have safe home. Thank you. All right. And then I will see you guys online. And I will see you. Um, I'll see you at. Oh, we just yeah. lost you again. <laughs> Can you hear me now? You guys there? Did I lose him? We're here, but we've lost you. Okay. Well, we're okay. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so um, I said safe home, and I will see you both at coaching and in classes online. Yep. And remember, okay. everybody who's here or is viewing or has viewed, that you are all limitless, and um, let's all come together and be limited. Yeah. And have fun. Yeah. Yes, and have fun. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thanks, Dorian. All right. Thank you. Signing off to everybody. You guys hang on for one second. Okay. And, and this broadcast on Facebook. Thank you, everybody, for attending. <laughs>